Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Wholesale.fm podcast. We're the original voice of Wholesale. I'm your host, Kevin Gallagher, and joining me on the broadcast today is Sam Shearer, who is the managing director for a company called Orteri Technologies, and they are located in Irvine, California, and they have a really great product line, and this is something we're going to discuss a little bit today because it's something you really need to hear about. I saw this product actually in person at the New York ASD show, and it blew me away. It was so cool. Before we get to Sam, let me just describe a little bit for you what it is I saw. I had one of your employees, Sam, put a Buzz Lightyear doll, and we all know what that looks like, how big that is, into something that looked like it was about the size of a microwave oven. It was on a turntable. He turned it on. You can see the little doll spinning around 360, and then on the screen, it's conducting or constructing, actually, a 360 degree image of this doll that could then be turned around and looked at so it absolutely blew my just blew my mind it blew me away how real the image looked the quality of the image and I can see you know absolutely some really great um, you know applications that different companies could use you know for a product like this so Sam I want to say you know welcome to the podcast and what would you like to say about your company uh, a little bit of the history of the company and let's just jump right into it shall we sure thank you for having me Kevin um, thank you Ortery technology started uh, in 2003 and we started with the idea of making photography easy for businesses essentially, for any yeah. application that they're, they're using. So we started off with uh, still shot photography studios, desktop photography studios, and that were everything where the camera, the studio, both of these components are controlled through a computer, and uh, end users would be able to kind of push a mouse around, set the settings on their camera, and quickly take pictures once they click snap in the software, they first they get a real-time preview of what's going on their screen. So they put their object inside the studio. Um, the, their hand and the object would appear right in their monitor screen. They could zoom in and zoom out and compose the image. They can pre-crop it. Once they hit snap, two seconds later, the image is right on their computer. They're able to then use our software to speed up everything that happens once you've already got a good picture. Uh, to get these images published online. So we've encompassed batch saving, batch sizing, batch watermarking, batch naming, things like this to just speed up the, uh, the preparation time for getting images ready for the web or for print. So our first set of products were all these different desktop photography studios and uh, workflow solutions. We then moved into 360-degree animations. Since we already had the right lighting environments, we created turntables that fit both inside and outside of our studios to create 360-degree animations, just like you'd seen at the show, where consumers can now shop online or communicate up and down the supply chain, clicking and dragging on an object left and right to see it spin 360 degrees. Um, as of late, we've been working on different solutions that either are 3D in nature, and 3D meaning that instead of clicking left and right, you can also move your mouse up and down to see the object, like that Buzz Lightyear. You could yes. go right up over the top of him and come down the back side and even see him from the bottom up. So we have hemispherical and full hemispherical 3D solutions, and our most recent product involves shooting inside of these desktop studios, but it solves one of the problems that has plagued photographers forever, and that is how do you get a pure white background um, straight from the camera? And yeah, yeah. Everybody, everybody's, you know, in the past, everybody takes their pictures, and they, they have to go to Photoshop or some other editing program and drop the background out. Now we have uh, studios in our, specifically our 3D PhotoBench 260, that allows you to take pictures that have a pure white background straight out of the camera. And that's either for still shots or for 360 degree animations. Yeah, it's really cool. And how long did a technology like this take to develop? Uh, we were working on, well, I mean, we, like I said, we've been in business for, for nine years now, coming up this February. And it's, it, it comes, you know, before we started, we spent probably two, two and a half years developing. And then we just continuously develop new, new, uh, new workflows, things that save customers clicks so that they can get done faster, and then all the breakthroughs like, like being able to shoot on pure white. 
Yeah, and that's always been a challenge for people, as as you were discussing. With my background in television, you see very commonly you'll see a lot of talk shows and things where they use the opposite of that, a black background, and then a lot of TV commercials, anywhere where they really want to show off a product, it's always with a white background. And so something like what you've developed comes in really handy for anybody that's doing any kind of e-commerce with a website, um, you know, anything where you need to get a really clean, crisp, clear, you know, shot of whatever it is you're photographing, whether it's a Buzz Lightyear, you know, anything small. I mean, what's great about this is that, you know, when I saw the application actually, you know, in person, the, you know, the, the device that you're putting this into reminded me about the size of a microwave oven, and you could get these really incredible shots without taking up a heck of a lot of space. Sure. Well, in each unit, each of our studios is self-contained, and that's one of the nice things. I mean, traditional photography has cords all over the ground um, that takes up a lot of space and a lot of effort to get it set up. And when the lights move around, there's inconsistencies that are that are added to the uh, to the photo. So what we've tried to do and and done successfully is create a self-contained unit that the lights are always in the same place. It can consistently take pictures, regardless of who's using it. If you take a picture today and you take the same picture six months from now, it's going to look the same. And that's a big component when, when you're, especially if you're, you're creating things for online sales. You don't want your, your website to look extremely inconsistent, like somebody took this, you know, without any experience a long time ago, and then all of a sudden things got better, or this one has a background and that one doesn't. Uh, Consistency is a very large component of, of being able to take good pictures. So, um, yeah, it's that. very no, it's very important because um, I know for me, if you set up and being on the set of a TV show, you got to have in that situation, you got to have the lighting just right. You can't have shadows coming down on a person when they need to be seen by a camera. The same is true here. You can't have any shadows, otherwise you're not going to see the product. So this eliminates that problem and, as you were saying, gives you a perfect shot every time. Certainly. The other aspect of, over the years, we've, we've created studios that We've created studios that are small for jewelry and uh, small electronic components and consumer products. We've also got regular size studios that are about two feet by two feet by two and a half feet. Uh, those those are the majority of our sales in that range. But we also have studios that are extra large um, studios that that a model can stand in and it has a turntable built into the bottom. These can be up to like nine feet tall and three feet wide and deep. So. Yeah. Uh, we have the full range that we've created with or without the turntables. So this way uh, you can go to the need of whatever that company is that, that needs the product, which is great. One of the things that um, you know I thought of is you know nowadays you have so much of our manufacturing being done overseas in like say China, and if you have a company in Boston or in LA that is designing a product, here's a great way that they can talk to the factory you know overseas you know 9,000 miles away or whatever, and be able to get it right and get it right in a quicker amount of time, which is going to save a company you know a lot of money ultimately because the communication is clean and clear because they can actually see the product as you were alluding to before, being able to move it around and look at it in a 360 degree fashion. Besides that, what are some other great applications for the product? You're exactly right, Kevin. Um, the, one of the main uses is uh, for, for product development and making sure that I, anybody who's ever had to communicate overseas, like you just mentioned, knows that if the communication, if you write an email and the person overseas doesn't understand, then you essentially lose another 24 hours. So it's really important that the first time that you say something, that the, the other person can understand it quickly and easily. And using our studios, whether using still shots or 360 degree animations, allows you to communicate in pictures. So the very first time that you say, we need to make a change here, they know exactly what you're talking about, and companies are a lot more efficient. It also saves companies a lot of money each year in the fact that they don't have to send as many UPS or FedEx packages back and forth between the designers and the manufacturers to, to see the updated changes. With the animation, each frame can be 
uh, annotated with text and drawings so that you can point out any changes that were made. It's photorealistic, so you click and drag on it. You are looking at photos from every angle. You know Everybody knows immediately um, what has been changed and how that works. So other applications would be for quality control, um, certainly for product design, as well as um, archival. And one of the biggest applications, or I'd say the biggest application, is e-commerce. Because when you take a 360-degree animation or a 3D animation, um, the customer's not in a store. They're, they're viewing it in the comfort of their home. To be able to maneuver the object so you can see the backside and be able to deep zoom and see all the details gives them the confidence that they need to, to go ahead and make the purchase right then and there without seeing the product or having it necessarily in their hand. That's fantastic. And is there um, anything else you'd like to add besides what we have brought up today? Well, I, the, the, our newest product really breaks the mold. Um, for the past eight years, we've, we've been doing photography inside of our studios. And, and one of the biggest things for all of our customers is how to get that pure white background. And up until now, the only way is to go into an editing program and take the extra time and steps to select the item and remove it from its background and put the object on a pure white. And a lot of the websites that are out there, even some of the larger wholesaler websites, will, will require that your pictures are on, are on a pure white background. Um, with this in mind, and it, it took quite a bit to overcome it, but with this in mind, we, we were able to create our newest studios, the 3D Photobench 360, that solves this so that when you take the picture straight out of the camera, it immediately is able to be on a pure white background. So then you immediately step into our batch saving, batch resizing, batch naming, these kind of characteristics, and that whole workflow to get images ready for publication online or, or in print is streamlined so that it's the minimum amount of clicks. When we're taking 360-degree animations, we do have uh, advanced workflows that would allow you to set it all up before you take the pictures. You'll still have to name the animation and choose the, um, the speed of the animation and rotate it and make sure your object is in the dead center. But after that, the taking of the pictures, the stitching the images, and saving it to a particular location, and even sending it right up to your website through the FTP is all automated through our software. Makes so it a heck of a lot easier, doesn't it? We, we really feel that, uh, that this advancement is, is, a, is a game changer. Yes, and if you get a chance to see it in person, folks, like I did at the uh, New York ASD show, you'll see exactly why it is a game changer. And um, Sam, for those of uh, uh, buyers and such that are listening to this recording right now, um, Give them some information about how they can contact your company, how they can get more information, and how they can maybe see some demonstrations of this product. Certainly interested uh, companies and buyers can contact us at uh, Ortery Technologies on our website, and that is ortery.com. It's www.ortery.com. And they can also call us on the phone at 949-859-5580. We do like to um, talk with all of our customers to see what kind of projects they're, uh, they're working on, what types of objects they're, they're photographing, and what they're photographing them for. So certainly give us a call. And that's fantastic. Thank you so much, Sam Shearer, who is the uh, Managing Director for Orteri Technologies. And um, this is Kevin Gallagher for Wholesale.fm. Stay tuned for upcoming interviews with the industry's leading movers and shakers. Wholesale.fm and the voice of Wholesale talks directly with suppliers, manufacturers, liquidators, show promoters, trendsetters, and more. This is Kevin Gallagher, the voice of Wholesale.fm. Stay tuned for more great podcasts, and remember to check out our sister site, GetThatWholesale.com, the Internet's largest wholesale directory. You can contact me for more information on how to advertise or for an interview by calling 888-358-358. 7822. Once again, that's 888-358-7822 at extension 707. Thank you.